welcome to Geospatial Platform tutorial. Today we'll be looking at the analysis function. Let me start by having a look in the catalogue and picking some data to work with. I'm going to choose the Water Productivity Project. I'm going to choose a continental date set and I'm going to choose a monthly precipitation. And this is a grid cell of approximately, approximately five kilometers. So let's uh, zoom in a little bit. Let's uh, focus down here on this area over here. Um, so we can see that I can click on a particular point, and as usual, it's looked up that exact pixel, and I've got eight millimeters of rain for June 2021. So the analysis function allows us to uh, perform some uh, raster statistics or some analysis across multiple layers. So we're looking at a monthly data set. There's one specific chart here that's been defined for this layer called deviation from averages. So let's, let's start with that one. So uh, in terms of an area of interest, I'm going to use the pixel I clicked on. So off we go. And now you'll see loading on the left-hand side as it's busy calculating the values for that pixel. So what has it given me? It's given me a chart. And in this case, we've got one, two, three lines. The red line is the long-term average uh, precipitation. The uh, green line is the 2020 uh, precipitation. And the blue line is the 2021. And you'll see that this is monthly. So as with all the charts, we're able to sort of uh, zoom in and see a little bit more detail if we want. And we can also reset that soon. Okay, so in this most uh, simple case, we're looking at a single pixel value and we're, we're, we're investigating that. So let's try something else. Let's try um, now doing the same thing, but this time I'm going to uh, create a new area. So I can create a new area by, let's, uh, let's zoom in a little bit, um, by clicking on the map and I'm defining an area and I'm going to say done. Um, in fact, now you'll see I have my new area over here, area one. Um, again, I can uh, pop that off to do some calculations. Uh, and now it will give me the same chart. However, the data is uh, based on all of the pixels that lie within that area. So we can now switch between the two. I can see area one, oh, sorry, already on area one, or I can see uh, the, the point. Uh, the, the single location that we had in earlier. Uh, so that same thing works even if I, I draw a palagon myself on the map. So let me try one more. I'm going to say done. I'll give that one a name. Um, let's call it, um, let's call it uh, Carl's area. Okay. Uh, so now if I click on that and I do some analysis, uh, we should do the same thing, derivations from averages, and you see Carl's area. So now I'm able to, to pop that off and, and do some analysis. So now you'll see I have the that long location, the on-the-fly drawn area, and the previously drawn area. So the next thing we'll do is to look at a, a, different, uh, a, a different way of doing it. So rather than drawing on the map, um, let's uh, pretend I'm in my GIS tool, or I have some, some shapes of myself somewhere. Oops, that's a little bit too much zoomed. And uh, we can also uh, we can also draw a shape ourselves here. So let's just draw one. Okay, and then I'm going to click on it. I'm going to give it a bit of title. Um, uh, my place, let's call it. And let's give it a red outline. And then to make it uh, transparent, more or less. Okay. Okay. And let's do one more, just uh, just for the sake of it. Okay. Okay. And again, let's just uh, change that one. Blue, 
neon of blue and again we'll make it almost transparent and I'll give it a title another place Oops. another place okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save this as a geojson format so this is map 42. Now we're going to go back to the hand in hand geospatial platform and we're going to add that geojson. So if I uh, open the explore over here and I go to my data, I can add some local data. I'm going to browse the file system and choose that uh, geojson file and now we should see that, uh, in fact, we see it on the map. So we have a my place and another place. Okay, so now let's use one of these for doing some, some, some analysis. So we go to precipitation layer, we say that it's got analysis, I choose a deviation from averages, and I'm going to choose another place. And so I pop that off. And you'll see that it's now busy doing the necessary calculations. And now we have uh, the, 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 the map for another place. So we can switch from area one, from uh, average, and another place. 